Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday. Um, I wasn't in the vlogging mood yesterday. I was definitely having a case of the Mondays. <laughs> I wasn't feeling very motivated. Um, I had a headache yesterday morning when I woke up, so vlogging just was not happening yesterday. I did read a little bit though, um, and I managed to read a little bit this morning also before the kids got up. I'm actually downstairs right now because um, I'm uploading last week's vlog to YouTube. So, um, so yeah, I'm on page like 775, I think, of pillars. Um, I'm right at the beginning of part five. So I have like 200 pages to go, which is super exciting because it's like I'm in the home stretch, you know what I mean? Um, and it's a good book, you know what I mean? Um, I don't really have anything bad to say about it, but... With that being said, with 200 pages still to go, so that could change, I don't know if it's going to be a five-star read. Um, and I think the reason for that is when I rate a book five stars, it's it's kind of like a feeling that I get. It's really hard to explain. Um, in this book, though, it is a really good book, and I would definitely recommend it to people. It's just not giving me that feeling. <laughs> so it's really good, though. Um... It's a rich story that goes over quite a few years. You really get to know the characters. Um, some of them you love, some of them you hate, you know. And it's an interesting story. It really is. It's a great piece of historical fiction. Um, and it kind of has a little bit of everything for everybody. There's the historical aspect, the cathedral aspect, learning about how these humongous buildings were made back then. You have a love story, romance and sexy time and all that. <laughs> you have war, so there's like, um, there's definitely some um, like battle scenes and stuff. So it kind of has like a little bit of everything. So it's a, it's a good book. It's just like I said, not giving me that five star feeling. Unless like something happens in the next 200 pages that's just going to like blow my mind. Um, and so I, again, I'm also not sure if I want to continue with the series. Um, so for any of you out there who have read the entire trilogy... Um, what do you think? Should I, should I bother? I don't know. It just seems very, very daunting to read two more books that are like a thousand pages in a series, you know what I mean? So I'm on the fence about that. And then I'm about 200 pages into The Tommyknockers. I'm still listening to the audiobook, really enjoying the audiobook. I think it's done really well. Um, yeah, it's really good. And I like what he's doing with the alien story. Um, some of the things that is that are kind of happening um, to the main character, Bobby, who has basically been like the person to make first contact with the spaceship. Um, it's really cool. <laughs> I don't have any complaints. I don't know. Maybe by the end, I'll understand why people hate this book. But right now, I really like it. I think I like Bobby. Um, she's got flaws, but I like her. I like um, Jim Gardner, who they call Guard, who is definitely a flawed character, and he's definitely going to be the hero of the story, but he's he's complex, but at his core, I like him. And they're really the only two characters we've really met, so, um, and then like I said, the whole thing with the aliens is just really cool, because it's basically like in the beginning, Bobby lives on a chunk of property, and she comes across this little piece of metal kind of sticking out of the ground and she starts to dig at it and dig at it and dig at it and discovers that basically it's an alien spaceship that's buried on her property which is cool right kind of scary kind of cool and then yeah it starts to like have effects on her and that's what kind of where I'm at in this story and I really like it so yeah I don't know so yeah that's my um what I'm reading right now I'm hoping to finish pillars by Friday um, so that I can start my buddy read with Bobby. We're going to be buddy reading the ruins. Um, but I'm going to basically close out, out the vlog when I finish Pillars. So, because the whole point of this vlog was to kind of, um, take you on the journey with me of reading this really, really long book. So when it comes to an end, I'm going to take a break from vlogging for a little while. But, um, yeah. So my goal is to finish by Friday. We'll see. I have 200 pages left, which doesn't seem like a lot, but in this book, it kind of is, because it is, though the writing is, like, digestible, it's also dense at the same time, 
I know it's kind of weird, but um, yeah. So those are my goals for the week. Um, I don't have a ton going on this week. My father-in-law's coming over today to hang out um, his weekly visit. And then I have, um, we have play dates the next two days. And then we have a barbecue on Saturday. I think that's it. So it's a, kind of a low key week. So hopefully I will get lots of reading done. So in the meantime though, before my father-in-law gets here, I'm gonna upload this video. And then hopefully later when Hunter goes down for his nap, I'm gonna film a book haul. Hoo hoo. So yeah, happy Tuesday. Hey guys, it is 8.30 on Wednesday. Um, I thought I would do a check-in because I haven't checked in today. And um, this morning we had a play date at a local beach and we had a blast. It was really good weather. Um, the kids had a great time. It was it was a lot of fun, but like most trips to the beach, it was also sort of exhausting. <laughs> Just having to like pack everything up because you have to pack food and you know, you gotta bring, you gotta bring the sand toys and you gotta bring uh, a blanket to sit on and then I have like a sun umbrella and just like all this stuff and it's just, it's a process, but it's so worth it because it was really fun. It's something that we definitely wanna do a few more times before school starts um, because summer is definitely winding down, so. Um, I did manage to also read today, not at the beach because my kids are at an age where there's no way I can like sit there and read a book and just like let them do their thing because no, they're both um, not strong swimmers and so yeah, I have to like keep an eye on them the entire time we're there. So I did not read at the beach, but I did read when Hunter was napping. So I'm on page 825 of pillars so that means I'm like I'm getting there you guys I have like 150 pages to go I really want to finish this by Friday but it might not happen until like Saturday or Sunday we'll see how it goes um but yeah it's definitely like one of those books it's like doing this like all the time um and things are picking up and getting I think things are kind of coming to a head in terms of like all of the other characters versus William because that man needs to be taken down and he better or I'm going to be pissed off <laughs> if I read this thousand page book where throughout the entire book he has done nothing but like rape women and kill children and burn down cities and done horrible horrible things and then he doesn't get his I'm going to be mad so I hope that he gets his because he needs to um yeah so that's where we're at with pillars and I listened to some more of the Tommy knockers and I'm into like book two part two whatever you want to call it and they're like and now he's like introducing you to like all these other people in the town and it's kind of showing you like what this spaceship that Bobby has unearthed um is kind of doing to everybody <laughs> So it's interesting. It's it's interesting. It's cool. I'm digging it. I can see where some people might think that this section of the book is maybe unnecessary, but I like it. So there's that. So we got um, the kids are in bed. Um, I am going to have some quiet time and hopefully read some more of Pillars. I would like to get through... If I could read another 20 pages of Pillars tonight, that would be great. But 20 pages in this book is, is a lot, to be honest. So I don't I don't know how far I will get, but that's my goal. So I'll let you know in the morning uh, what kind of progress I made. I got three, yes, and I'm gonna be this. Okay. Guy. Move them three places. One, two, three. Okay, and then which token are you gonna flip? This one. Oh, uh, okay, so we know that that dinosaur has to be in this. Mm -hmm. All right, let's save some dinosaurs. Let's save some dinosaurs, yeah. Hey guys, it's Thursday afternoon, and it's been kind of a chill day around here. We had um, a good friend over this morning for a little play date. Um, it was really fun. The kids, you know, got together and had a good time. And then um, Leia and I have just been kind of chilling while Hunter's napping. Um, I did do a little bit of reading, 
And I am about to start chapter 16 of Pillars, which means I have about 110 pages to go. So it's like, oh, I'm getting so close. And the last section was pretty good um, in terms of, I feel like maybe the tables are turning and William, hopefully we are starting to see the fall of William, but I don't know because he's not the type to go down without a fight. So I don't know, we'll have to see what happens there. I think it's really interesting um, that in this book, I feel like the hero of the story is Aliena. Um, she has been like pretty much my favorite character from the first time she showed up in the book uh, because she is so resilient um, and she's very loyal to her family um, and to her promises. And it's just, she's a very like noble, awesome woman and I'm glad that she's in this book because it's predominantly a male cast of characters um, and so it's nice to see that really I feel like the the brains um, the that the the hero who I believe is Eliana she has brains she has passion she um, is a good person and in this time period you just wouldn't expect the hero to be a woman, but I think it's her, and that makes me happy. So, um, because most of the men in this book, besides Philip, who is the priest, they are very brawny. Um, they don't really, they don't really um, think about things. They just react to things. Um, Philip is a little more. He does a little more thinking. He does a little more planning. He's a little, he's a little, can be a little bit of a trickster. Um, and he's, so he's, you know, he's a little bit different than the other male characters, but most of them are all kind of the same. Um, and then it seems like most of the female characters are the brains. Um, even though they are in this time period, not valued as highly as the men they're the ones uh, getting stuff done. They're the ones planning and doing, and it's, it's just cool. I like it, so yes. So yeah, I'm hoping, again, I'm still planning to finish this by tomorrow, but I don't know, 110 pages is still kind of a lot. It might end up being pushed to Saturday or Sunday, but um, yeah, I feel like it's, it's happening. It's coming to a close. And to be honest, I'm a little bit ready for it. I've been reading this book a long time, and I'm ready to move on with my life. <laughs> um, and then I also wanted to talk about the Tommyknockers. Um, I'm almost 300 pages in, I think. It's hard to tell because I'm reading the audiobook. I'd have to check my physical copy, and I don't have it right here right now. Um, I guess I could walk over and get it and stop, you know, being lazy. I think it's about 300 pages in. Um, let me take a peek. And what he's doing right now, I think I said, yeah, I'm, 200, I'm page 283. So what um, he's doing, Stephen King is doing right now, is he's like introducing you to all these different people in Haven, which is the town where this this uh, spaceship has been found, um, and what, it, what it's doing to the people. And I think it's really cool. It reminds me a lot of, he kind of did something similar um, in Salem's Lot, which is one of my favorite Stephen King books, honestly. Um, and it's because he showed you little by little with all these different characters, just the hold that this, um, at least in Salem's Lot, the hold that this vampire phenomenon had on the town and how it slowly creeped over. And he's doing the same thing with the Tommyknockers, but with this alien intelligence. So I like it. I think it's working. Um, I can see why some people wouldn't like that and they feel it's unnecessary, but I like it because it's building up a sense of dread. Um, and you know that these aliens are not good. They are not the friendly kind and they're doing bad things to the people. And yeah, so I like it. So yeah, I thought I would just um, check in with you guys. I don't really have a lot of plans for the rest of the night. At least I don't think. I might go to the gym when Austin gets home because I haven't gone since, what, Monday? Monday or Tuesday, I don't even remember. Um, and so, you know, I should probably go. And then if I go, I get to listen to more of the Tommyknockers. So 
you know, it's kind of a win-win situation, so I might do that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to uh, chillax until Austin gets here. Um, Leia and I were playing some board games, and now she's just kind of playing on her own, which is really cute. <laughs> so we're just going to hang out and wait for Austin to get home and for Hunter to wake up, and then I will finish my day. <laughs> afternoon about almost three o'clock on Saturday um, yeah we had kind of an eventful morning we went out to breakfast as a family and then um, did a little bit of running around we're getting ready to paint the kids bathroom finally after like five years of living in our house we've never painted that bathroom so we want to paint it so we picked up just some like card samples um, to kind of figure out what color we want to do and then if you guys um, remembered me mentioning it in vlogs past, uh, Leia took part in a summer reading program at our library and she completed the program so she got to go to this really fun um, party that they had at the library and it was space themed, it was really cute and she had a really good time. Um, yeah, so now um, I am helping to host a barbecue at one of my best friend's houses. Um, because another one of our best friends is getting married in October and in lieu of a traditional bridal shower um, She wanted to just have like a low-key kind of barbecue. So we're doing that today uh, So I'm in the Meyer parking lot because I had to run in and pick up some tortilla chips and a veggie tray um, So then I'm gonna head to her house and like help set up and stuff and then we're just gonna spend the afternoon barbecuing and just having a good time so Austin's gonna meet me up there later because Hunter's uh, napping so when he wakes up he's gonna bring the kids up so yeah it should be a really fun day um, so yeah with that being said I haven't done a ton of reading today but I do have about 60 pages left of pillars I'm so close like if I didn't have such a busy day today I would have probably finished it today but no <laughs> too busy um, and yeah it seems to be like things seem to be winding down though there is one last big like kind of dramatic event happening um, between Philip the priest um, who is like one of the good guys um, he's definitely one of the main characters and I, though I wouldn't call him the hero of the story because I like I said in my in other clips um, I believe Eliana is the hero but um, he's definitely up there and throughout the entire story William the the, the bad guy um, and this guy, Wellerin by God, who is basically like the, um, the sidekick villain, like he's also a bad guy, but not as bad as William. Um, they're kind of trying to do something to Philip. Um, and they've been trying to screw Philip over pretty much throughout the whole book. And it's like, listen, you two, listen, you fools, it's not going to happen. Philip, he's like blessed by God or something because things always work out for him. He runs into all these obstacles and many of them are brought on him by William or by Welleran or by both and he always prevails. So it's like you guys need to just stop and accept it and move on. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, but yeah, there's not a whole lot of book left so I'm getting excited. Probably not going to finish it till tomorrow because then I also um, am starting a buddy read today with Bobby. If Bobby reads too much we are Buddy reading the ruins and I haven't even started it yet today so that'll probably be something I read tonight before bed just so I can kind of get it started but yeah jam-packed rest of the day um, it's beautiful out so it's a perfect day for barbecue so yeah we're gonna have a great time and I'm excited hey guys it is Sunday morning and I finished it I finished Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett Cue the Rocky Balboa music, except 
Not really because I don't want to get a copyright strike. But yeah, I finished it, guys. I finished it. And I have to say, overall, enjoyable book. I'm going to, I think I'm going to film um, like a sit down book review of this um, and kind of compose my thoughts a little more. But initial thoughts are, um, I liked it. It was good. I would recommend it to people that like historical fiction. Um, the ending, I found like the last chapter, the very last chapter, I found a little bit underwhelming to be honest. Um, and I don't want to get too spoilery for those of you that do want to eventually pick this up, but I will say William, the bad guy, he does get his, but I wasn't completely satisfied <laughs> with his his storyline conclusion in this book. But there's that. So yes, I got to put this book down because it's heavy. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm thinking right now I'm going to give it a four star. Um, and I'm not sure about continuing the series. I'll have to like read up on the, the synopsis of the next two books and kind of see if it's something that I would want to do. Um, but even if I do pick up this, the next book, it's not going to be for a while because I've kind of um, had my fill of a, of a big book for a while. I've been reading a lot of chunky books this year, if any of you guys haven't noticed. And this one was kind of like the creme de la creme of chunky books. Uh, so far this year and I just I think now for a little while I'm gonna try to keep my my TBR and such um, a little bit on the shorter side as I'm sitting here listening to an audiobook that's 27 hours long yeah so okay besides the Tommy knockers that one may be the last like 500 plus page book I read for a while let's just say um but yeah I'm really proud of myself that I read this and um, I'm so glad that I had people read it with me in the read-along group. Um, I'm really thinking about doing something similar next year, uh, obviously with a different book, um, but kind of keeping the same group intact and kind of doing another long read um, sometime in the summer next year. I think that'd be really fun. Um, and so thank you to all of you that, you know, took part in the read-along and um, took part in conversations and everything. It was fun. It was motivating. Uh, I wish I would have kept up with you all because a lot of you finished the book like two weeks ago. <laughs> but hey, you know, slow and steady wins the race, sort of. So, so yeah, um, I guess that's all I have for this vlog, you guys. It's been a month long plus, month and what, 10 day journey with this book and it was good, um, but... I'm kind of glad it's over, if I'm going to be honest. I'm ready to read some shorter fiction. I actually, oh, I don't have it um, up here with me, but um, Bobby and I started our buddy read yesterday. Well, she did the, she did her reading. I did not. So I'm going to do that today, and she's going to give me a day to catch up. And, yeah, we're going to be reading The Ruins, and that's a nice, I think it's like a 300, 330-page book, which is exactly what I need after this big, long, chunky book. Um, but yeah, this is it guys. <laughs> and I just wanted to thank you guys for joining me on this journey. I hope that you've enjoyed, um, my vlogs. Like I said before, I definitely want to do more vlogs on my channel, but doing it, um, on a weekly basis, like I've been doing was a little bit much. Um, so I will definitely do some more vlogs, but maybe just once a month do like a weekend vlog or something like that um because I do think they're fun but they are um time consuming as far as the editing process goes and everything like that and then sometimes you just feel like you don't have anything to say or you don't have anything to document in terms of like what you're doing and so you just feel like it's boring you know what I mean so yeah um I commend the people that do like a vlog every week consistently um, because uh, it's a lot of work so yeah um, yeah <laughs> I don't know how to say goodbye I don't know why this is hard thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your week guys have a good one bye